Hi everyone, this is Kika P and I'm going to show you how to uh, activate the 2FA or two-factor authentication uh, which was uh, a new uh, update that was uh, being released as of today. If you hadn't done yet, step one is you should go to Google Store or if you're using um, iPhone like me, you just go and update the app so i already done this before so as you can see step n is now version 0.6.6 so let's open the app and then go to the upper left corner and as you can see here version 0.6.6 so that's when you know that you have the latest app so to activate the 2fa the second uh, um, step is you click this Google Authenticator, turn that on. And then third step is download the Google Authenticator if you hadn't done yet. But if you already done that, uh, you just click link. But just for, uh, for the sake of showing you, once you click this, it will automatically uh, bring you to the app store if you're using iphone or google play if you're using android so for my case it's already downloaded beforehand so i'll just click open to show you how it looks like so as you can see nothing in there so i need to go back to the um, uh, step in because if you want to create an account that you want to link for the 2fa you need either to scan a qr code or enter a setup key so obviously if you're using one phone you should click the enter setup key because you cannot scan the qr code or if you want you can screenshot your um, qr code from the app and then um, it's hard if you cannot scan it directly so i suggest enter a setup key so what happens is you put a, a name of the account and the key will come from the step and app so let's say i'll put a name here step in okay and then i'll copy the key from the um step and app so i will just hide it because i don't want it to be public so after i click link i will get that key that it's being asked so i'll just move my camera to the left so you cannot see it so that's pretty much it so it's like a um, number and a QR code. So I'll just copy that and then um, go back to the uh, authenticator and I will paste it here. So I'll just paste, paste, and then I'll click add. And now it should look like this in Google Authenticator. So each time it will ask you for a Google Authenticator, you just go here and copy this number. So, but before you do that, I strongly suggest, so I'll go back to the uh, step and app and I will click the link uh, button. Okay, so that's it. So it's called two-factor authenticator because you need to verify this transaction using your email verification code and the google authenticator code always do the email code first because sometimes it takes a while before you receive the email so i'll click send code now so i need to wait i need to wait for that email code first before i go back to the uh, google authenticator and copy the number because the number there refresh around 20 seconds so we don't want the um, Google code to be expired when we press link. So that's the reason why we need to get the email verification first. So let's go to our email and let's copy. Copy, go back to the uh, step in, paste. And then go back to the Google Authenticator. See, make sure this is blue. If it's red, you wait. I uh, like this one. I think it will expire soon. I'll just wait for the other number. 
See, if it's red, it means it's about to change. So I'll just wait for the other number. So this one, when you click, it will automatically copy and then go back to the step in uh, and then paste. That's it. And then you click, click link and that's, that's the end of the process. So each time that you uh, need to do some transaction, it will ask you for these two codes. So pretty much the app now is very, very safe. Until next time, guys, let's go and walk.